We run threes to create separation between blockers. Anytime we force blockers to think and move, we give the attacker a better chance of getting a kill. We're going to cover where you start and finish, as well as the spacing you have from the setter and the net. Starting in home base will force the middle blocker to stay centrally located while you're preparing to beat them diagonally as they go horizontally. We see a lot of players shading to the three zone, which makes it so the opposing middle doesn't have to think or react. The deception starts with your ability to be balanced and neutral at home base so you can run the route with speed and stability throughout. In a perfect pass situation, the three splits the difference between the antenna and the passing target. When the pass isn't perfect, some teams keep the three in the same location and some teams run the three based on distance from the setter. Either can be effective if the middle is disciplined in getting to home base. As you start your approach, we want to turn our hips towards our destination. The hip should not remain facing the setter. Instead, we want to turn our head to look at the setter for timing and release our belly button to the final location. Opening up will cause you to lose power at the end and keep your hips facing your target will help you create power to leave the ground. We wanna plan our last step at a 45 degree angle to allow us to open our hips and chest back toward the setter. This will allow us to use the rotation of our core to generate power. We need to give the setter a window for where they can set you the ball. We create a window by opening our hips and chest to the setter and by maintaining at least an arm's length of space off the net. The smaller the window, the harder you are to set. Especially at the younger ages, this play's success shouldn't always be based on a thunderous wow kill. The timing and difficulty of the set sometimes just allows you to push, tip, or paintbrush the ball to an open spot on the court for a kill. As a middle, you should always be available to allow the setter to spread out the offense and open up new holes within the opponent's block.